Ayla May Al Ortiz from San Joaquin Elementary School. This morning, I will be discussing the lesson in Science Pi, which is designing a product out of local, recyclable, solid, and or liquid materials in making useful products. So, let's discuss first what is waste management. It is the process by which materials that have been used, broken, disposed, and are no longer in good conditions are managed in a way that they can be reused, reduced, recycled, recovered, and repaired. These are very important, especially in this time of pandemic, that our way of living had been adversely affected by the community quarantine at different levels. So one way to do this is through 5 R's. So here are the 5 R's in waste management. The first one is reduce. So by reducing waste is the most important thing that we can do. By reducing waste, we avoid the unnecessary use of resources such as materials, energy, and water. It means there is a less waste to manage. So, one of the examples is using eco bags instead of plastic bags and using a tumbler when drinking water instead of plastic bottle. The next one is recycling or recycle. So, like in the example seen here, in our presentation, the plastic butter bottle, uh, we can recycle it as flower base or pencil holder. The third one is reuse. So here are the examples. So in the kitchen, it is better to replace all the single-use eating utensils like styrofoam, cups, water bottles, and paper plates with compostable or reusable alternatives. You can also, like what I said a while ago, we can bring our eco bag when we go to grocery stores. In storing our, our foods, uh, it is better and very practical to use durable plastics. Instead of using disposable batteries, we can use the rechargeable one. So, if we reuse some waste in our kitchen, for example, also, you can collect some materials that can be prepared as organic fertilizers in our garden. So, this is called composting. So, composting is one way to reuse organic material that may be otherwise end up in the landfills. The fourth one is repair. So, repair is to fix something that is broken, damaged, split, or not working properly. By replacing the value in the item you have, we are repairing them when, when needed. You are sustaining the product you own and reducing waste. So, for example, sewing the cut or holes in the pocket of our pants, t-shirts, and for children. So, you can seek help from the elders to repair some leaks in your faucets and electrical appliances and cracks in the walls of your houses. The last one is recover. So, we can recover energy from waste to become our fuel and gas and electricity. And for this lesson, we have learning task number one. So the students, what you, students, what you need to do is to visit your cabinet or closet. Number two, look for some used t-shirt or broken clothes that have holes and buttons, uh, broken buttons are locked. So use a thread and needle to repair, repair the holes or put some buttons whenever missing in your clothes. So, show this repaired t-shirts, shorts, or clothes to your mother and to me uh, for evaluation. So, your mother can bring it on Friday to me. So, for guide questions, so here is the question that you need to answer. Number one, how did you find doing the activity? Did you seek help from the elders? If yes, why? What will you do next if you see some missing buttons or there are holes in your shorts or t-shirts? And in our succeeding activity or next activity, we will use the GRAPS or uh, the GRAPS acronym which stands for number one, G for goal. It states the problem or challenge that you will resolve. R is for role. Explains who you are in the scenario and what you are being asked to do. Audience, your target audience are for whom solving, solving the problem is for, who need to convince of the validity and success or resolution for the problem, which is your mother and me. 
For situation provides the context of the situation and the additional factors that could impede the resolution of the problem. And P for product, performance, and purpose. It explains the product or performance that need to be created and its larger purpose. S is for standard and criteria for success. Dictates the standard that must be met and how the work will be judged by the assumed audience. So, next, you will going to design your useful products. So, this part of our lesson, you will be doing this activity and that will help you design useful products that come from these local materials found at home. So, there are steps and steps when designing a new product out of local and used materials at home. So, number one, determine the available local materials that are largely available at home or in your nearby places and community. So, number two, study the purpose of these local materials or use broken, damaged, or repairable materials. Number three, create new products that are useful out of these materials by adding some of the aesthetics sense on by watching videos, TV, or looking for some references that maybe guide you in creating new materials. And number four, as much, uh, as, much, as much as possible, seek help from the elders to enjoy doing your activities in reducing, reusing, recycling, recover, and repair of materials to design local products that are useful out of these materials. So, you will be using this rubric to guide you in designing your local products in this learning task number two. So, number one, you are going to design your own product from any of the available materials at home that you have recovered which are no longer in use. Number two, write your own simple and easy steps to follow on how to make the recyclable materials. Number three, present your work to your parents or to me on Friday after you pass your work. Four, after you finish your work and your mother pass it to me on Friday for evaluation. So class, that's all for this week 7 and I hope you enjoy learning and you learn something new in this lesson of ours. So that's all. Thank you and God bless us.